Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Linux Mint USB with persistence. Let's get started. Head on over to the Linux Mint website. I'll give you the URL in the description. You're going to click on download. That'll bring you down to the <clears throat> download section. You're going to scroll down until you see the mirrors and select the mirror of your choice. I'm just selecting the first one on the list from the USA. That'll kick off the download. And while that works, we're going to head on over to the Rufus website. This is a utility we'll be using to actually create the USB drive. I'll give you the URL for that as well. Scroll down until you see download. You're going to click on the newest version, which is 4.2, get the executable. Once you click that, that'll kick off the download for Rufus. Once Rufus is done, we'll go ahead and open that up. And I fast forwarded the video there, so they're both done. So click on File Explorer and then drag that over and open Rufus. There is no installation, it's a standalone app, so it just pops right open. All right guys, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure you have the correct USB drive selected. You don't wanna format something you didn't mean to. Then you're gonna hit select. This is where you're gonna choose the ISO. We just downloaded the Linux Mint latest version, so we'll select that. Next thing you have to do is give it some persistence. I think you have to give it at least four gigs. You'd have to check the documentation for Linux Mint, but in this case for demonstration, I'm giving it the rest of the drive. So a 64 gig drive, it's gonna have 55 gigs of persistence. Feel free to rename the volume label. This will be what you see when you pop it into a PC. I'm just gonna add the word persistent on the end. Totally optional, obviously. Okay, all the settings are there. Next thing you do is hit start. You'll get a couple pop-ups here. You may wanna download things for signatures. And then you'll get a couple of warnings saying that you're going to blow away your whole drive. Um, so again, make sure you got the right drive selected. If you're confident with that, just click OK right through. And then we'll fast forward while this goes ahead and does its thing. Okay, that's done. Let's hop on over to the laptop, guys. I pulled out the USB. We're going to stick it in the laptop. First try, what do you know? <clears throat> okay, powered on. This is a Dell, so I'm hitting F12 to access the boot menu. If you've got a different brand, you'll have to check the hotkey for, boot, for the boot menu. I'm going to go down to USB, hit enter, that'll take me into the Linux Mint Live. Alright guys, so I'm going to, it's a little blurry here, I'm sorry, I'm just hitting start Linux Mint. And once that boots up, we should be presented with a desktop, and we only have two icons up there. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new file. Can't really see it, but all I'm doing is clicking on create new document. And you'll see that show up right there on the desktop, I'm just naming it test hitting enter. Alright, so that file is there. Now, to test persistent, we're going to shut this down and restart it. Give this a second to come back up. And if everything worked, when we load the desktop of Linux Mint again, we should see that file. So I'm just getting back into the boot menu, selecting USB again. And then I'm going to hit Start Linux Mint. And this will load up to the desktop. And there it is. We have the test file. So everything looks good and it worked. Now you can pop out this USB, take it to another computer, do whatever you want, and your work will be saved wherever you take it. Thanks for checking out my demo, guys. Let me know if you want to see more instructional videos like this. Till the next one, take care.